96. I had a pretty good game, but we lost to Michael Jordan and the Bulls. They won 69 games that year in the championship, so at least we lost to the best. And check it out, the opening lineup for Memphis. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. Shaw Moran is out there with MP, and it's Adams in at the five. There's Jackson with the three to get the rebound. Adams, shots good. Steven Adams. And Steven Adams just a wrecking ball down there with his size and strength on the offensive glass. Back to Curry. Into the lane. Wiggins against Brooks. From nine feet out. No good on the shot. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work, but the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. Now here's Wiggins. Coming off a terrific game against Brooklyn. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. In 2013, Steven Adams was selected 12th overall by OKC, the first first-rounder born in New Zealand. Yeah, B.A., I mean, Adams is blazing a new trail. An example for kids in his home island of New Zealand. You, too, can become an NBA player. You have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second-chance opportunities again and again. Now here's MP. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Thompson finds Wiseman. Outside, Green. Now Thompson. The three. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got a rebound number five here tonight. From deep, MP gets it to drop. Now two of four. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. The Warriors have gone only one of six so far. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. MP against Thompson with the 10-footer, and he hits the jumper. Take a snapshot of that. That was picture perfect from Clay. Memphis leading. MP outside, beyond the arc. Good, and the setup by Moran. MP's got eight. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Curry passes to Wiggins. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. And here's Thompson for three. That doesn't go either for Thompson. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. MP shot is off. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Curry. He had 22 in the win against the Nets in Brooklyn. And also in that one, he had the opposition on pins and needles on the defensive end of the floor, recording four steals that night on his way to an overall stellar game. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Timeout call. Memphis, first chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. And last year, they won this season series, but then they couldn't get past those guys in the playoffs. And the Warriors... Substitution court. So it's the Warriors now. Trailing by two on the court for Memphis. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. MP is out there with Ja Moran. And it's Brooks in at the three. Now here's Curry. Give him eight points now. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Moran. Curry's shot is off. Memphis has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Ball. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. 
thinks while well, MP in their last game against the Suns played some superb basketball. He ended up with 58 points and was on point from deep. He was focused, very productive. The team leaned on him all night, guys. Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Greg. The B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. They're going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Curry passes to Poole. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Tried to come right back at him with the three. Not that time. Brooks finds MP. Let's it go from 14. And another basket for Memphis. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Poole outside. Brooks against Thompson. Outside, Green. The kick out to Poole. The three is up. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Gets the three ball to go. Number one. And now an 11-point Grizzly lead. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Two minutes remaining. Now here's back. Green. Two minutes. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And that one's good. Cool. It's clear there's a lot of pride on the line in this one. Not always the best scenario, but in this game, pride takes over. You score on me, I'm going to come back and score on you. Yep, that one goes. MP's got 13 points now in the quarter. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Here's Poole. Here's Wiseman. Thompson outside. Three-pointer. Gets the three to fall. Thompson's got five. Just so remarkable and consistent from distance is Clay Thompson. Timeout call, Memphis. After a couple of injury plagued seasons, that we missed the playoffs, the Warriors have returned to their winning ways. Just how impressive has that been? And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. And Iguodala subbed in for Poole. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Clark is checked in for Adams. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Bain, he's checked in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Moran. And it's time for an injury report. Let's check in with Allie LaForce for an injury update on Andrew Wiggins. Thanks, guys. I just talked with the Warriors head athletic trainer. A bruised hip is the diagnosis. So while there's a lot of pain, presumably no significant damage. And losing a player as the season really hits its stride is going to be tough for them. Hopefully it's a speedy recovery. All we can hope for is that the prognosis isn't as bad as it seems, guys. Yeah, we were hoping for much better news, and obviously not very encouraging. Yeah, we always think about when players go down, how terrible a blow it can be for the team. We wish him well and hope he's on the floor quickly. MP shot is good. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Back to Curry. Left side, Kaminga. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.